In the second half of last year, we released into production our augmented reality support for mobile devices. And all the SDKs that support mobile devices have AR support built into them. Now, we deliver that in two ways. We've made enhancements to our underlying API, but we've also delivered a set of open source uh, code examples that allow you to bind it to the various devices that are available to you. And this is going to allow you to modify these device types as more and more device types become online. We support three different modes with flyover, tabletop, and world scale. Flyover is great for education scenarios. Tabletop, probably best suited to design scenarios, whereas world scale is really good for inspection scenarios. So that's augmented reality. Also recently released is our navigation support. Now, we've had routing inside the runtime since the start. But just in the most recent release, we added navigation. This is voice guidance with automatic reroute if you go off route. It works connected as well as disconnected. And you can use your own data inside of it, or you can connect to online services. In the area of utility networks, the last few releases have been getting progressively more and more functionality. You can read definitions and the associations of all the device types on the utility network. You can perform tracing, connected traces, sub-network, upstream, downstream. And for all of these trace types, you can finally control the parameters to get the behavior that you want within your tracing. So to see the new utility network in the runtime, I'm going to pass it back to Mike for a demo. Thanks, Ewan. For utility companies, GIS has helped transform many traditional workflows, including empowering field crews with access to asset and infrastructure information. But that's not enough. They want to be able to make informed decisions based on real analysis in the field. Now, the ArcGIS Utility Network and ArcGIS Runtime bring powerful analytic capabilities to everyone in an organization from desktop apps to mobile field apps. In this application built with ArcGIS Runtime, we'll see how a field crew can use three of these analytic capabilities as they plan how they respond to a reported outage. Our operations team has received a report of an outage and sent that to us in our truck. We use the ArcGIS Runtime API to quickly determine the address and the equipment at the outage location. In this case, it's a low voltage service, single phase residential device or meter. But it's unlikely that it's just this one customer without power. It's more likely that the entire circuit is out. Therefore, the first question we want to answer is, what's the scale of the outage? How many customers are without power right now? Running a subnetwork trace sends a request to the utility network web service to trace the entire circuit and tells us that we have over 1,600 customers currently without power. Now we understand the impact of the outage, the next step is to find out where to go to start fixing the problem. Electric networks contain protective devices that, in the event of a problem, are designed to fail to prevent damage to the rest of the network. Using the advanced filtering capabilities of the API, we can run an upstream protective device trace from the original outage location upstream to find the first such device on the network. And here it's found a medium voltage disconnect fuse. After our field crew arrives at the location and inspects this device, they determine that it has indeed failed. We can then tell the operations team that they can remotely re-energize the rest of the network upstream from this fuse, rapidly restoring power to as many customers as possible. The next question then is, how many customers are remaining downstream from this fuse? How many people are still affected by the ongoing outage? Running another trace, this time a downstream trace, filtered by the customer category, tells us that we have 343 customers still affected by the ongoing outage. We can now send them a message to alert them of the outage and of the approximate restoration time as we continue to track down the cause of the problem. ArcGIS Runtime, with comprehensive utility network tracing capabilities, puts the power in the hands of users, from desktop apps to mobile field apps, help to, helping to improve reliability, safety, and customer service. And with that, I'll hand you back to Ewan. Thank you, Mike.